Hey guys, welcome back. This is C Rock, and here we are starting again with the uh, fourth episode of the Egyptian campaign. Alright, now we're being attacked by the Seleucids at my uh, camp over here. Um, <clears throat> I will be having reinforcements from uh, Tyros, I think is the name of the city over there. And it looks like I think I can win this one. Although they are, they do have a lot of troops. So now I'm going to go ahead and set up all my um, troops with the uh, camp that I have over here. And we're going to go ahead and set the, um, the battlements around the area. Or the, uh, I don't know what they call them now. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and set the a few of the guys outside. And this is how I usually set up a, um, a fort uh -huh, battle, you know. Um, usually with some guys outside and with some guys on the inside of the actual fort. This is mostly because of the fact that the forts are extremely small on Rome 2. For some reason, they wanted to give you the least amount of space to maneuver in with your army. I do not know why. Don't ask me. I did not make the game. I was not part of CA's decisions. Because <laughs> if it was up to my decision, they would have been looked the same as they did in Rome 1. Or at least very similar. Now, they are just tiny little cubes. <laughs> so anyway, back to the battle, right? So now they're going to go ahead and... The enemy is going to go ahead and attack mostly with their cavalry first. They have their uh, archer, cavalry archers that they're going ahead and fighting in on me. Um, what's nice is that I do have some... Uh, <clears throat> Stone throws there are firing on them, along with the fact that I do have uh, some towers. The towers do cause a lot of damage in these uh, types of battles. So I'm going to go ahead and send these guys to go ahead and attack the um, cavalry. They have the ability to fire uh, javelins, and I really wanted them to go ahead and take out the um, the elephants over here, because those elephants are very deadly, and they end up taking a lot of my men. I don't know how many men they end up killing in the end, but they do end up killing quite a few of them. But I end up killing them in the end anyways. So you see, I get, I get a somewhat decent shot. I don't think I killed any of them with that particular javelin throw. But we do end up hurting a few of them later on. And I found out that uh, slingers can actually affect uh, and kill elephants don't ask me how they are literally tossing a rock maybe it's a very maybe it's because it's a very sharp rock I don't know but we'll see later on how uh, some of these slingers actually do cause some pretty nice damage to the uh, elephants maybe it causes a lot of damage to these in particular elephants because they're not armored but armored elephants I don't see how that would actually work, but anyway. I'm dissecting the logic of this game. I know, right? <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and move the uh, reinforcements up quite a bit. I want them to eventually engage the uh, army over here. They have just decided to attack one side of the fort, which is really not... Uh, the best idea. Usually we want to attack all three sides. Um, a fort battle is usually quite uh, costly, I've found, uh, um, for attacking or for defending. Mostly for attacking, though. Mm -hmm. They used to have the... Um, one mod that allowed you to go ahead and have quite a few battlements, uh, quite a few um, things to help out your fortification. But they haven't updated that bat that mod yet, so you can only have like about five um, little um, battlements or whatever you want to call them. I guess I can't think of the word. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be like a comment of like, it's this. This is what it's called in the uh, comments if anybody actually even watches this. 
Thank you for watching if you do. <laughs> um, so now I'm going to go ahead and attack. As this is not going too well for me outside of the uh, fort. But I am managing to take down their uh, elephants. The elephants are the main thing that are kind of like really defeating a lot of my guys. But I did knock out one of the elephant uh, groups, mm -hmm. as, we, as you can see. And now we're going to go ahead and knock out the other one. But we only have uh, slingers. And we do have bowmen in the um, reinforcement army. And I figured I could go ahead and maybe use the bowmen. And the thing to do with the bowmen is to go ahead and use them on uh, fire arrows against... Um, Elephants, because that will really uh, cause them to <clears throat> waver and run and everything like that, you know? Or stampede. So, as we can see, I'm tossing a bunch of stones at them. And this is the part where I'm thinking, okay, stones really don't do anything, I guess. And we'll see later on that they kind of actually do. Or at least I, one of them ends up dying. I don't know if it's from a stone or if it's from the fact that the towers do take out quite a few of them. Mostly the towers are taking out most of them, by the way, I think. The towers cause a lot of the deaths in these four battles. See, now I'm changing to fire. Arrows. I'm gonna go ahead and bring those guys over there to go ahead and, because I think that they can go ahead and take out the uh, elephants. But basically, those are the only things that are really holding up this entire battle. I have won the battle. Besides that, and here we, as we zoom in on it, we can see that one of them actually did die from that. So it is bothering them, and I guess. Maybe the stones are actually killing the people who are driving the elephants, and thus the elephant dies. I don't know how it works. <laughs> but that is my... That is probably a better uh, thought that the computer says, hey, or the AI says, hey, the driver is linked to the actual health of the Elephant, so if he gets killed, or the elephant gets killed, the elephant will die. Mm -hmm. And now that they're wavering, they're pretty much done. And as you can see, I've defeated them now. So I decided not to move my uh, bowmen over there, and I'm going to go ahead and have them instead uh, destroy the extra little... Um, wall that's there and I found that if you actually destroy those extra little walls or burn them they will explode and they'll kill some of the um, troops that are around them some of the units that are around them so they'll actually kill some of the enemy in this in that situation now I probably should have continued to kill those guys because they did not completely end up dying but we do kill a large portion of this army That they attack me with. And they're pretty much all wavering. The the battle is pretty much won now. They're they're all wavering because they have fire arrows being fired on them. And the um, fort has some of its walls on fire that I decided to set on fire. And here I am just really trying to block off their escape so that I can go ahead and just continue to kill them as they're walking on out. I found that the uh, the AI really wants to just escape through where there are no more of your men, and if they are just if you're blocking every single part of the escape, they'll just give up and start pretty much running through your men and start dying. Because you will fight them as you go ahead and as they go through you if um, they are just retreating, and quite a few of them will die in that way. That way you don't have to go ahead and run after every single one of them, you know. So now, we've pretty much won this battle. 
They haven't all um, routed yet. But as soon as they do, we'll go ahead and hunt them down, a few of them down, and um, speed this up a little bit, actually. Take those guys off uh, fire at will so they don't end up killing some of my own troops. And here we are, really defeating a large portion of their army just because they're retreating into mine. And we have a victory, so we're going to go ahead and uh, go very quickly through this part. And... chase after all of them I think I probably killed a few of my own guys there so it was uh, quite a bit of friendly fire at the edge there and it was a decisive victory as you can see um, they lost over 3,000 men and I lost only a thousand I think or more and they had about 591 remaining I had the majority of my remaining and they were still mine are still suffering from um, attrition, and I think theirs were still suffering from attrition. So I think it's just in particularly, it's not that I'm being attacked by their spies; it's the area that I'm in, and I don't know what's causing it. Still, so I'm gonna go and I'm upgrading this general. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get military conscription. Go through all the bad news. Mm -hmm. And I think I might want to. I wanted to bring this army up here because I wanted to go ahead and have him back him on up in the end. Mm -hmm. And then we take this guy and break down his army a lot. <clears throat> and we're going to go hunting after this army. And I realized later on I probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well. So there I got wounded. I don't know if my agent can even actually affect these guys. So there I am now uh, <clears throat> killing their army. I wanted to finish them off because I didn't want them really to come back. <clears throat> and then I put him in the stance that I probably shouldn't have put him in. <laughs> Yes. <clears throat> so I upgrade him. <clears throat> and now we're going to go back to these guys over here. I'll swell the troops on this one a little bit more. Buy some more of the pikemen. And we're going to go ahead and move this full army closer to um, um, Aminio, I think is how you'd say that. I don't know how you say that city. Aminium. Yeah. <clears throat> they seem to have also elephants. They seem to have quite the strong army too. I think I can take them though. Mm-hmm. But we'll probably end up having that battle this time or next episode um, as you've noticed my schedule is now that I have done these Egyptian episodes every other week and the <clears throat> great war uh, episodes are the week are on the other weeks along within the middle now I just do the uh, Star Wars Battlefront just to go ahead and, for the heck of it um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the technology so I can get sewers improve the uh, sewage of that area. Now I have been ambushed because the stance that I put the uh, army in, if you get attacked, you have it's an ambush. So I was kind of curious why I was being ambushed because I didn't 
I didn't know if they were ambushing me or if I was ambushing them, but it turns out because of the stance that I had them in. So I ended up having to toss this army away, basically. I could not retreat. I had to fight this. So I'm like, all right, oh well. So now I just lost that. Um, <laughs> so I figured, what the heck. So I ought to resolve it because I really didn't want to go through with it. Lost the army and the general. And then I'm going to go ahead and lose Tyros because they're going to go ahead and attack Tyros now too. Mm -hmm. So they end up attacking Tyros. I uh, auto resolve that and now they own Tyros. So now all I have left is Jerusalem. So I'm going to go ahead and end up pulling back to Jerusalem. And try to hold off from there and regain what I can regain. Hopefully they'll stop having this... Um, attrition being done on me. I don't know why I continue to have attrition. It's... Getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> So now I'm going to go ahead and move the army over into that city. And then we're going to move them out. Because we can actually go ahead and still make a fort outside of there. So we moved them on out to make a fort. And hopefully they'll end up attacking the fort. And I'll see you guys next time. Um, like and subscribe, alright?